Dennis Powell, no foul call as the Badgers come back this way. The shot clock is off. The shot is put up by P.J. Thalen, and it just goes. It's just thrown up a prayer, and he gets the basket. It's 70 all, 25 seconds to go in the game, and Mobile College with a chance to win it at the buzzer tonight. Well, they're not going to call the timeout. They've got to get a good shot. Now you're down to 10 seconds. Going to give it to Patrick. He'll try to take it in the middle. And he goes in with four seconds left. Timeout call. One tick left on the clock. 72-70. Mobile College takes the lead. Mobile College with a win tonight. We'll get to go to get the home court in the first round of the playoffs. Well, there's really going to be three seconds on the clock. They couldn't hear the whistle blow. The officials have put the three seconds back on the clock. So now you're up by two. You've got to play some defense, but you can't foul. And you certainly don't want to foul out in the three-point range. You give them a three-point free throw. The officials put two seconds back on the clock. So it's three ticks left on the clock. So. Uh, technically, Jim, a lot of time left. They can get a score here. Mobile College just has to play some good defense here and try to prevent an easy inbound pass or a or a coast-to-coast a -coast pass for the easy layup. Well, I think you just got to play some good sound defense and don't let them make that long pass. Make them at least get the ball in and, and take a long shot from midcourt, you know, where your odds are best that they're not going to make it. And you can do that if you play some good defense. Personally, I'd let the man have the ball out of bounds to make the inbounds pass and put that fifth player back on defense. Now, I don't know whether Coach Elder thinks like I do, so we'll see. At the close of the timeout, here is the situation. Three seconds left on the clock. Mobile College up by two, 72 to 70. The Spring Hill Badgers with one last opportunity to pull this game even at 72 all or win it with a three-point shot and we will see what transpires right now as the timeout is being called over okay. and it's time for the teams to come back out on the court and to get this game underway and well, wrap it up coach elder called another timeout white team called another timeout we'll see it'd be interesting to see when spring hill comes out where they put their big guys they're going to bring allen back into the ball game i have a feeling they're going to try to make a long pass down the court Lob it up there high and let the big guys go for it. It's almost impossible for us to be heard, I'm sure, so we'll just sit here and listen to the noise along with the rest of the fans. By the way, I'm Ben Akey calling the play-by-play -play for you, doing the color commentary all season. Well, this has been Jim Bibby. It's been an exciting season of Mobile College basketball. Mobile College with a 20-win season, and that says a lot for the coaching abilities of Bill Elder. We're glad to be bringing you this game from the X Network and Power Productions. This will be our last telecast with you know, the close of this game for the year. Then Mobile College was down two at the half. Here they are up two at the end. And Spring Hill with one last guess. Just don't let the long pass come in. Make them take it down in the forecourt and hope for that long shot. Get up on him and make him dribble. Don't foul, don't foul. The three-point shot is up. It doesn't go. Mobile College wins it at home 72-70 over the Spring Hill College Badgers. And Jim, that was a close call. Lehman nearly put that three-pointer in. It certainly was. That ball hit the rim and rolled around twice. Almost went in the hole for the how the ball game up. In fact, it would have won the ball game because it was a three-pointer. That's exactly right. And you know something we, we were kidding about in the truck before the game is we were saying that the home court advantage was worth two points. Well, if that's true, that's what the difference was. Well, Jim, how do you wrap this game up tonight? Well, the fans are telling it all. You know, they're just going crazy out here at uh, Mobile College and Gymnasium. Just one of the best games you'll ever want to watch. And I'm sure all these players that participated in it are just going to remember it the rest of their life. Uh, second half, uh, Mobile College almost let it get away from them. They were down two at half, came out. Second half got down by as many as 12, I believe, at That's one right. point. Then we started hitting uh, with 10 minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. We hit a couple three-pointers. 
and that kind of lifted us back. Then we had the little uh, timeout when the clock malfunctioned. And I believe that might have uh, hurt Spring Hill just a little bit. Uh, certainly didn't hurt Mobile College. They came out right after that and scored five unanswered quick points to get them back in the ball game. Uh, that's just one of the things that happens. Of course, I think Mobile College played good defense the whole game. Spring Hill played good defense. They were right in their face all night long on the man-to-man -man Mobile College in their uh, zone, uh, matchup zone. Uh, well, the it, win tonight now, Jim, gives Mobile College a regular season sweep of the Badgers. We Mobile College won on the road at St. Paul's Gym, and then tonight pulls out the win here at home in Far Gym. But that does not mean we won't meet them in the playoffs again. Well, that could happen. I believe this gives us the home court uh, advantage on the first game in the playoff, though. So uh, that certainly was worth the win just to get that home court advantage. On the part of all the guys from Power Productions and for Jim Fibby, I'm Ben Akey. The final score tonight from Bar Jim is 72-70. Mobile College pulls it out in a tight one off of a last-minute shot. Three-pointer by Lehman does not go, and Mobile College pulls it out. On behalf of Max Network and Power Productions, we'll see you next year, but be sure to tune in in the fall for more exciting high school football brought to you by Power Productions and the X Network. But we'll see you later, 72-70, and it's all over. Good night.